Greetings, my fellow lovers of tunes, and welcome back to another Pentatonix reaction video here on the channel where we enjoy the music, of course. Now, I'm very excited. Last year, like towards the end of the year, was an amazing year for Pentatonix. They released so many amazing songs. It was an absolute blast to have heard and reacted to each and every one of them. And in that, some people mentioned to me this like enigma of a thing that happened that I completely missed. And it was mainly after Kiss from a Rose um that i was so flabbergasted by kevin's performance in that that someone said there is a performance like a live stream that aired a few years ago i think it was 2022 where he had a, like a whole solo with his um his cello doing his thing i think that it's a cello right that electric cello that he used um very excited to hear see it the video is called the kevin show kevin's fifth and it was at a Christmas extravaganza live stream in 2022. Okay, so it was 2022. I'm very excited to hear this. I have no idea what this is all about. All that I have gotten from people was prepare yourself for something amazing. So um, he's the beatboxer of the group. We already know beatboxer solos are absolutely amazing. And with him having that instrument with him, I think it's going to be something special. So let's get into it. And then we will discuss it afterwards, as always. This part of the show is so mind-blowing. It's all about Kevin Alushala, our beatboxer, and how, and how unbelievably talented he is in every single way. It's incredible. I know a lot of you know this story, but for those of you who don't, Kirsty, Mitch, and I grew up in Arlington, Texas. That's where Pentatonix started with the three of us. And then we wanted to be on the show The Sing Off on NBC 10 years ago, 11 years ago. But we could not find a beatboxer anywhere and the show was coming up fast and in an act of desperation we went on YouTube and we typed in beatboxers <laughs> enter <laughs> and the first video to come up which happened to be going viral that week was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing simultaneously <laughs> that's how we reacted as well and we were like, oh my gosh, we found the guy, we found him, we found him. How do we message him? YouTube message? I didn't even know that was a thing, but we were like, let's try it. So we YouTube messaged him and we were like, hey man, if you're free, would you like, <laughs> would you like to fly across the country and audition for a TV show with some strangers? <laughs> and um, <laughs> and uh, he was like, he actually responded. And he was like, you know, I normally would be so down. Like I love acapella, I've been in an acapella group before, but I'm, studying for finals to get my pre-med major at Yale. The list keeps going. I know, I was like, oh, same. <laughs> oh, very relatable, Kevin. So, <laughs> no, but I was like, okay, so that's a done deal. So we forgot about it, but then two weeks later, he messaged again, he was like, great news, got the pre-med major. Also, a doctor, a scholar. And he was like, and I'm also down to fly across the country and audition for the show with you. So he did. And then we won the show and we haven't stopped for 11 years. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the imagination how the conversation went with his parents who are here tonight. I know I just got my pre-med major, but can I be a professional beatboxer? Please. Um, anyways, he's about to do his cello boxing for you, which is what he did in the first video that we saw. So give it up for Kevin Alushala! Man, thank y'all so much. This has been such an incredible night. Like, we love y'all so much, and this is truly one of my fa- I love you too! <laughs> and can I say, I, I have been excited for this show for a while, because this is a hometown show for me. Uh this is a hometown show for me. For those that don't know, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. So Kentucky, thanks for making my band feel like we're at home right now. Thank you all so much. <laughs> so like Scott said, the band found me from a viral YouTube video. Literally, this is a... This is me practicing cello in my dorm, and one of my friends, Jake Bruin, comes to me and says, have you ever thought about putting this, this thing that you're doing, this cello boxing thing on YouTube? 
So literally, we, we go to an old dingy basement in my college. He brings a video camera, and this is what I play for him. Thank you. So that piece is called Julio by Mark Summer, who's part of the Turtle Island String Quartet, and that, that piece completely changed my life. I now have this amazing career with four of the most incredible people I know. And this cello boxing thing I've been doing now for almost 12 years, one of the things I've realized about it is that I actually love taking classical pieces and trying to reinvent them in my own way. So I thought tonight I'd play an excerpt of the Bach Prelude from the Cello Suite Number 1. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you so much. Oh man, I thank y'all so much. This has been such an amazing year and you know, it feels like this journey is still not done. This this past year I have been going deeper in my own soul, trying to be more vulnerable and figure out what I artistically want to say next. And this next piece that I've arranged and produced, I think is the culmination of that year-long search. And you'll know the piece that this is based on and inspired by. This is called Kevin's Fifth.
Probably the best thing I have seen this year. Like, I know this year is not long, but that is absolutely incredible. What an amazing performance. Like, I could not stop smiling. I was so dumbstruck throughout that whole thing. I don't even know what to say. Like, I, I, I needed a few seconds just to gather my thoughts as well, because that was something incredible. Like, wow. First, let me start at the beginning. I did not know the story of how... Kevin met um, Mitch and Scott and Kirsty. I did not know how that they met. But now thinking about it, all those years ago, I remember seeing that video of the person doing the beatboxing in the cello. And back then, obviously, I did not appreciate music for what it is and understand the complexity behind it. But I still enjoyed it like a lot. I, th I, I remember seeing that video, but I never made the connection that that was Kevin from Bentatonix. That is incredible. An amazing story of how they met as well. And how incredible is this man to have had a doctorate? Is that what he did? Did I hear correctly? Nonetheless, to be able to have that studied, be so proficient in the cello as well, and do beatboxing. And I know that there's many more other things that he does as well. This man is so talented. Oh my goodness. It's incredible. I love that he gives off this amazing chilled good vibes as well when he speaks to the audience like it's the first time and probably the most i've ever heard him speak like i've seen a lot of the songs that they do but he's the beatbox he doesn't sing and talk as much as like the other people do so it was ple i was pleasantly surprised to see how amazing of a guy this he uh kevin is and so talented as well i mean when that first part started the video that um, when he did that little snippet of the video that made him go viral, it, it really brought me back to that time when I first saw him. And that's when I realized that I saw that video. I remember that tune. Absolutely incredible. And that, that second part, wait, I, I forgot the, the name of it. Please forgive me. Um, absolutely incredible. It sounded so, so good. It, it gave me chills throughout that whole song as well. And then Kevin's fifth. I think that needs to be a track on its own it needs to be a video on pentatonix's channel and it might be i did not check so please i don't know if that is, is something that is there but that is incredible that is probably one of the best beatboxer solo show things that i've seen like ever that is incredible that sounded absolutely incredible like i know that he took inspiration from a very famous song um like 
production. I, I, I cannot get to the words, Stacey. I'm still dumbstruck. Um, but it sounded absolutely amazing. For him to have musically arranged and produced a thing like that is so, so amazing. Because not only does he have his part with his channel on it, he's beatboxing along with it. We have Matt coming in with the drums. It sounded so amazing. I love his energy in this as well. And then the dancers. And then he stops playing, picks up the microphone, starts beatboxing and joins them in the dance as well. So he can dance as well and look amazing doing it. Like, it's not fair. It really isn't fair, <laughs> like for one person to have so many talents. And I know he worked very hard for it. I'm not taking that away from him. He worked so hard, I'm sure, to be able to do all that he does. But it's still not fair because a lot of people cannot even play the cello or and a single instrument and a single instrument well. And he does all of these things on top of each other in one performance. That's incredible. That is so, so incredible that yeah <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that just made my day like it made my year so far i i i know it's still early in the year and it is actually quite sad to think that this is almost two years ago well let's say you're you're maybe a year and a half or so um ago that this was released or performed on their live show but this is the first time that i'm seeing it and it's incredible I, I've seen Kevin do some amazing things in the videos, like more recently, like I mentioned before in the Kiss from a Rose. It was so incredible, and that's why people probably recommended me to watch this, because I had no idea that he was this talented. That was absolutely phenomenal. I love the I love the relationship between this group as well. They are so loving and caring toward each towards each other. I love the way that Scott delivered the story as well about him. You can see that there's a lot of respect and admiration between these people, and that's what makes them so great. What a performance! That was incredible. And if this is the first time that you have seen this, please let me know, and let me know that I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> because I I did not expect this at all and I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably have seen this and I would love to know your initial thoughts on this what was your thoughts the very first time you saw this because this is something incredible it's something special something out there that you don't get a, come across a lot when you go through music and stuff like that on YouTube uh, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys very excited to see what 2024 is going to have in store for Pentatonix as well um, like I mentioned, they had amazing songs toward the end of the year that they released. And I know that this year is going to be no different. They've been doing it for quite a while now. And I'm very excited to see what they are going to like take head on. What songs they're going to do. I know there's a few that I would love them to do. But regardless, anything that they do always turns out to be something amazing. But in any case, I'm going to leave this here. This is quite a longer video. Mainly because of the performance that's being so long. But I don't mind. I could sit here for days and enjoy stuff like this. That was absolutely incredible. I hope you guys are staying safe, staying healthy, keeping warm or cool wherever you are. I personally am so hot at the moment. We have a heat wave. So I'm trying to keep all, um, cool at this moment. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, music is medicine.